All right, all right, all right. I'm here. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> Had to scarf down some food. God knows how long this is gonna be. I don't know if there's, I don't know if there's like a scheduled time or how long it's supposed to be. But anyway, um, welcome. Uh, welcome to the. <clears throat> Sorry, hang on. Let me. Let's do this right. Hang on. Let's start. Sorry. 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 Thanks. Are you ready? Are you ready? For the annual Summer Game Festival hosted by Jeff Keeley. Are you ready? I'm ready. I am now ready. Okay, sorry. We just had to get that out of the way. Let's, uh... Uh, it doesn't start for, like, another ten minutes, so... Uh, we've, we've still got time. What even is this event? I'm glad you asked. This is, uh, oh, hang on. Hang on, I got an important question. Yeah. Uh, this is, <laughs> yeah, this is the Silk Song waiting room. This is, the Summer Game Festival is, uh, Jeff Keeley, right? Remember the, the Game Awards? Remember Jeff Keeley's Game Awards? Well, it's that. But in the summer, and some may say, me, an official co-streamer, would never say that it's a lot less exciting. Some people might say that, it, but it, you know, those people, we, we laugh at them. Alright, hello. The stream's up. The, the yeah, stream. the... It wasn't even fucking live, these unprofessionals. How am I live before the Summer Game Fest stream? I think you went live, like, around the same time. Well, if that's the case, then it's just because Jeff Keeley sent me a DM saying to go yeah. live. <laughs> oh, God. Did the Cuphead DLC not come out yet? I don't think so. It's I got see it like, in the title here. It's got, like, 18 trailers, but... I don't think it's come out yet. What else do they have to show about that? I feel like we know at this I, point. They don't need to show anything, but they might. I mean, it's in the title. <laughs> I don't know. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Street Fighter, Cuphead, and more. Well, it just says Cuphead, so maybe... I don't know. Uh, uh, the Warframe Twitch drop is enabled, also. Thank God. I really want to get in. my new uh, yeah. Warframe. It's Protea. I don't know what that is. I don't know that one. I, I hate Warframe, I'm gonna be honest. What the fuck? I'd like Warframe if it wasn't like the most pay-to-win game ever designed, but... 
It's not pay to win if you don't mind waiting a month oh, for things yeah. to craft. It's pay to win if you want storage space. I don't think you can even upgrade that without paying. And it's so bad. To. It's so bad. I never had the patience for it. It's like... It's like Cookie Run Kingdom. If the times were, like, insane. If it was just, like, 18 years to make some wood. Yeah, the times are pretty insane. I mean... When you start upgrading that castle, and it's like, oh, you gotta wait three days for this. Yeah, I actually just got done waiting, like, five days for a castle, which is pretty fucked up. Yeah. It would, it would be fine if, if it wasn't like, oh, you can't use your little sugar gnome because he's busy upgrading the castle. Like, fuck you, dude. Pretty sweet. I think you can buy a sh an extra sugar gnome with money. Uh, you can buy one for like 800 gems, it's not even that bad. For uh, getting more things. Dude, you can get to 4 with 800 gems? Oh, you can get to 3. Not four. Oh, I guess I already did that then. Yeah. I don't know about 4. God, I didn't realize the game starts you with 2, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's where you start and leave. That's disgusting. The chat is spamming Clem, I don't know why. I don't know, I'm just gonna minimize it. Because I hate them. I'm trying to get context. It's just like the the wan meme or whatever. Where's the um, I don't know. Is this an emo maybe? Maybe I don't see it. No, it's not. It never is. Huh? Went down. That's sick. It's all a part of Jeff Keeley's plan. Okay, the bag. This is, yes, pull. this is the official co stream overlay. I don't got enough points. This is, I was, I was gifted. I was gifted this from Jeff Keeley himself. He sent me an email. I do wish. Can I, like, hang on. Can I, like, make this, like, better? I don't know. What am I changing right now? Okay, here we go. No, 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 we can, we can fix it. This is what you like to see. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Alright, there we go. That's a little better. What time is it? Damn, it, it goes live in five minutes and it went down? Was the timer wrong? Or is it like 2.05 that it starts? Oh, it's back up. Doesn't fucking start. To refresh. God, I hate the Twitch player. <clears throat> you didn't miss anything besides a few digits. Shit, I don't have ad block on this browser. The fuck? <laughs> what are these shows? Why did it say like the snowman, the gray man? Sorry, hang on. Let me. Let me advertise. Netflix Geek Week 2022. Netflix Geek Week 2022. Very exciting. <clears throat> That's when they show cool stuff. Yeah, you can watch it on YouTube as well, but you know, I feel like that would be a little BM if I watched the stream on YouTube. Twitch audio does this thing sometimes where it sounds really fucking weird. Never had that problem. Well, you probably have. It's just like really, it's not that noticeable unless you like are looking for it. Like sometimes it's the music like an audio engineer. The music like sometimes will like I I don't know how to even describe it. It just sounds like like weird. I think it's only when I'm like on source and it's only sometimes. I 
like they opened with Modern Warfare 2, so I don't have to see it anymore. No, that's like a mid-show trailer. What else are we looking at here? Uh, Street Fighter. Oh, the Russian scene. <laughs> they, uh, Jeff, like, posted a tweet that was like, this is some of the stuff that's going to be there. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's not like that exciting. But. Dude, Marvel's Midnight Suns? Yeah, I forgot that game existed. I guess this is all the stuff that's already been announced at this show. I wonder what they're showing for Street Fighter 6. They better just show every character now that we I, know. Well, I assume more gameplay, because they didn't show any fucking gameplay besides like two seconds. <clears throat> There's gameplay. Yeah, story. Yeah, and they just gotta look for it. No, if you have to oh, look for like it, the then they didn't show the gameplay. Five second clips on their fucking blog posts. That's not... That's not gameplay. What is this? This is weird. This is the summer game facet. I feel I feel like you could look in like eight different places and see what this is. I feel like you didn't actually have to ask. I don't know how long does does it say anywhere that how long this is gonna be? Nope. I assume it's gonna be long, because I think what's gonna happen is they're gonna show a bunch of random shit. And they're gonna show like an eight hour Call of Duty trailer. I mean, unless this is like, like an hour and some change. Cause like, um, it was definitely, uh, I feel like it was definitely different last year. Like, I don't remember there being like one presentation. Yeah, it's like E3, but uh, in in the summer, like E3 is. I get offended when I see Jeff Keighley's face. Right. I hope I get the Among Us mask. That's not not available. Only Protea from Warframe. Fuck. And here we Thank God. Go. This is Summer Game Fest, a live showcase of what's next in the wide world. I'll be the live studio audience. Games. We are live here in Los Angeles. Where are they? From home or watching inside an IMAX theater. Yeah, yeah I just found out about theater for this. I just found out that that existed. I would have done it easily. <laughs> it would have been so funny. Special developer guests. And yes, have a few surprises along. I wonder how many people would be streaming from their phones in the IMAX theater, dude. Live to Periscope. Whether you play on Xbox, PC, PlayStation, Switch, or mobile, we'll have games for you. It doesn't matter your platform of choice. We're all here to come together as one community that simply loves the art of amazing video true. games. True. So true. The biggest franchises in the industry are here, like Call of Duty. You'll get introduced to exciting new worlds and new teams, and we'll make room prices for small here, independent Lana. developers who we think deserve the spotlight, too. Huge. If we do this right, hopefully you'll discover a few new games to put on your wish list. And even if you don't get every announcement that you desire, let's face it, you're not going to get everything today, but we've got a lot Elden of great Ring stuff. Elden Ring DLC was trending so on Twitter like it would fucking exist. <laughs> Over that would be ago, like Capcom so Street i get why because from software starts their dlc like before the game releases Japanese but like yeah. has continued to evolve and Street it's way too soon for that is coming in they were like patching the game right and shit now, we're excited to and adding content to it character coming to the game it better not be kimberly dude that would suck we already push. know Eventually, we Ken. already know Kimberly. It's it better be, be Ken. Ken, dude. Ken looks fucking I sick. I want the Ken I trailer. See him in action. Okay, let me crank this shit. So quiet. Sitting on a couch with a fucking beer. Oh, it's Guy? Eli? Yeah, that is his stage. Is he wearing the outfit? Let me have some fun. Oh, wow. Guy okay. looks so different. <laughs> oh, my God. He's a beard? Oh, my God. He's a daddy now. 
He's wearing a fucking. Does he? Does he like work on airplanes now? Is that what he does? I don't fucking know. That's what it looks like he does. He looks like he just got off work. Yeah, I mean that's Guile. I don't know if there was anybody who didn't think Guile was gonna be in the game. If they're just like, oh, thank God Guile's in the game. I have Guile has a beard. He's giving everyone beards. Everybody who's like should be old, they're just giving a beard. Like he's probably like forty. <laughs> And they're like, how do we make him look 40? Uh, we probably should give him a beard. I'm just on another level. That's Guile. Very cool. Damn, dude. I see. So the logo is supposed to be like the hub. That's why it looks like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's, all about that's pretty dumb. All right. Next I'm, time I I thought he said it's all about the cop. I did too. I I my brain <laughs> just like shut down for a second. It's That's all about the cop. Oh my god. That was Street Fighter 6 again. Wait, what is this? This looks like something is already announced. The whatever protocol. No, that's not 20th century. Calypso. Is it? That looks like the dude. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base. Locate the commsat relay and bring it back online. We found the relay. This is just a different bald man. Problem. This is a dead space. <laughs> oh, this is fucking, uh... This looks like that game where you be quiet or die. I don't remember what it's called. Ray didn't make it. I can't remember. It's like Payday, but with demons. I don't think it's that game. It looks like that game. That game's out. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying that's what it reminds me of. Oh, this looks like a four-person ordeal. This is definitely like a Jack is saying alien. What oh yeah, he's the alien monitor. Is this like a? Kind of yeah, okay, that would make sense why it's and it found us first. 20th century. That's a, not an alien. Is this like asymmetrical alien game? This wasn't human. Or is this modern warfare but aliens? So that is an alien. <laughs> Man, she really threw that grenade. I really felt it. You know. Oh damn. So this is just like a survival game that looked like alien. Like all the other ones. Damn, he left the rest. What a hero. <laughs> I don't know what I saw in there. He doesn't know what he saw, but he did leave her ass. But I know when I close my eyes. I still see it. Well, you st why'd you stop recording for that? You stopped like mid sentence. Down. And someone needs to know. Alien cock and balls. Please have a subtitle, okay? Like Amnesia? It's a top-down shooter! Wow, that's really underwhelming, actually. Holy shit. Uh, that's not a game you drop a trailer for like that. That's a game you release and then hope people buy it. Two years ago at the Game Awards, we revealed the Callisto Protocol from the creative forces behind the Dead Space franchise. True. Today, I am thrilled to get so to show true. you the first raw gameplay alongside its creator, Glenn this Schofield. Cool. But first, here's the quote-unquote Schofield cut of the brand new trailer with a little more gore. It's. I mean, it's just Dead Space. Dead Space is cool. I don't like get excited until the third space. one. Crafting. Mining. Take a look outside. Who? Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? 
Oh, it's the moon of the PUBG universe. Okay. Just like you would have been if I hadn't <laughs> fished you out of that wreck. That's what he said. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. Is he like an escaped prisoner who would have gotten dropped into PUBG? I don't know how, what the PUBG universe is like. I'm just trying to make the connections. It doesn't really... exist anymore either. Way. Yeah, but like the ties are still there. Like they didn't. There was a plan. I don't know. They probably cut it off completely. No, they, they just die. left it in because it didn't make sense anyway. Like I'm sure there wasn't like an explicit reference in the game. There's probably like a data log or something. I just love that last part. Gives me chills every time. It looks like a Resident Evil monster. I feel like if you went back to an early Dead Space trailer, it would look a lot like this. I I had face ripped off. Welcome that was pretty cool. To your new home. That was scary. I didn't like that. EA wouldn't let him do that. Day one and digital oh, deluxe. Oh, we love a digital deluxe. We love a day one. Let's go pre-order now. That's right, we know what you wanted to see, and joining me now, Glenn Schofield, Striking Distance. Glenn, uh, first That's not of what all, I wanted to say. congratulations, this game looks absolutely incredible, and I gotta say, the fact that you have built this team, this studio, new IP, shipping this December, all in COVID, blows me away, so congratulations. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for having us, I really do appreciate it, Jeff. Um, you know, you know this guy looks a like a New Jersey mob yeah, boss, and he sounds you, like one, too. Uh, for all you've done fuck, for the dude. game industry uh, all these years, man. I, I think I've known you like 16, 17 years now, and uh, um, you've been an ambassador. We love Jeff. Um, you've amplified new games, new studios, and uh, I, I just wanted to thank you. I really do oh, appreciate well. it. Thank you. It's not about me. It's about you guys. Yeah, I, I know. I, but... I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's so fun to do these shows and to show this game. So people saw the trailer. But what I'm so excited today is that you just brought a raw gameplay sequence. This game is in development and people are going to be blown away, I think, when they see it. But tell us a bit about what are we going to see today? Yeah, we got a couple minutes of, uh, like you said, like raw gameplay. Um, it's two segments in the first half of the game. Uh, one is a med bay, another one is a power station. Yeah, and you got see, these guys, they're some, fucking biting each other's heads some off and shit. Uh, some, some pretty uh, sick shit. Just about everything, we were showcasing a new uh, weapon called the grip. Okay. It's uh, mm. like a gravity gun, but it picks up the enemies and it shoves <laughs> so, them into giant So fans, revolutionary, it dude. It's great. <laughs> and, uh, and then check out the, uh, the nice ending we have where we, uh, you know, we usually will kill our main character, Jacob, yeah. and in a very unique way. And uh, Jacob, uh, just for a second, I, I, I want to thank yeah, the team, name. man. I like you said, guy. through COVID, through everything else, the dedication, the hard work, uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Glenn, I got to say, again, you know, what you guys are shipping this year, this looks like a world class next gen game. Uh, it's, it's rare that teams are bringing something out like this this year. And let's let the footage speak for itself. Glenn Schofield, Striking Distance. Here it is the first gameplay of the Callisto Protocol. Very cool. He's got the thing on the back of his head, like the yeah. half bar in Dead Space. That's the one thing that Dead Space did that everybody remembers. And holograms. <laughs> he just bitch slapped him, dude. This guy's crazy. <laughs> Oh, off the top rope? Oh my god. That guy went crazy. That is the Dead Space crosshair. 
That is a dead space grabby thing. Yeah, now you just grab enemies though, it's like he said. He didn't- he, I love that he grabbed him and didn't actually do anything with it, he was just like, we gotta show the grab. He's throwing golf limbs like Dead Space. That's a big one. Just like Dead Space. Wow, nice yeah, shot. Fat fucks in Dead Space. Alright, this guy sucks. He had to let him get close for the cinematic. Alright, enjoy your lunch of tuna salad and uh, Lay's barbecue chips. That's what you do in Dead Space. You can open that crate. He got it. No! That is fucking bold. Oh, there's the suit. He looks like a fucking Doom guy. Wicked. He's gonna throw someone in that fan. He might throw someone in that fan. Oh. Come on, dude. You gotta be ready for the ranged attack. Gun looks different. It's probably up no, there. Or it's a different gun. Ooh. Okay, there was a little frame drop there. I don't know if uh... I don't know if that was the stream or the... No, it, it seemed like it happened again when he got hit. Oh my <clears> god. <throat> That's pretty sick. That game looks oh sick. God. That just happened. That just happened. <laughs> <laughs> it did, it, it it's just happened. Dude, I love when they fucking dry cut to Jeff with no music and he just <laughs> he has to say game. something. And today we're about to <laughs> show so you a good shit, gameplay uh, with a level playthrough. To tell us she, more, she should have said that shit was fucked up. Beach to check in with Johanna Ferris, the head of Call of Duty. <laughs> what is this? You were not actually Hi, here. Everyone. In 2019, Modern Warfare changed everything. Uh, you missed, everything. uh, and Dead Space guy getting trapped in a blender. Era of Call of Duty with what does it mean to be the, the general manager back, of Call of Duty, by the way? I just saw that that was her title. Team. Price, you just gas, do. Soap, That's not like a real position course, in ghosts. video games. We needed a stage <laughs> big enough to debut Call of Duty in a whole new way. Inspired by the world we're about to enter. Is it, shouldn't she just be like the, usually it's like the, uh, what is it, like the, the not the social media manager. Is modern warfare too. Um, I don't know. There's like a, there's like a role for the people who come out and, and talk about things. And it's not GM. <laughs> well. Spokesperson? Something like that. I don't know. Fucking Activision, dude. They're just trying to be different. I Show me price. That sounds like sprays. Yeah. We board, clear, disarm that missile. Be ready for anything. This could be a trap. I don't remember that guy. I don't remember this mission. Is this the? This is like that one map, like shipment or whatever. Not shipment. Um, it's it's like a a cargo map. Hmm. I think. I don't recall any oil rig map, but it's also been fucking ages since I played Modern Warfare 2. I think this might have existed. I guess I'm just gaslighting myself. There's a lot of that, though. They love doing the stealth takedowns. Cinematic cam. <laughs> Got to turn the sensitivity down to two. <laughs> Got to know exactly how many shots it takes to kill someone. <laughs> that guy was not doing well. Coming out. That's true. It does look like Call of Duty. I can't argue with that. This doesn't seem like a very fun Call of Duty mission. They're just slaughtering these people. <laughs> oh my god. Helicopter up.
Oh, you know what? This looks a little familiar now. That gun is so, like, it's like vibrating my controller and it's not even in my hand. <laughs> that guy was taking a shit. That's what they should have played. They should have played the No Russian Mission. <laughs> Certainly the more iconic one, but, uh, maybe not oh, the one. Well, that guy's done. dead. Come on, man. You can't show that. It's okay when the aliens do it. Imagine getting flashbang and not just spraying your gun everywhere to try and kill everyone. Always a bad I mean, if you're gonna die. That one's paying for that now. Yeah, this is definitely a. I fucking. I totally remember this map. This has to be what I'm thinking of. I, I don't. It, the, the more they go into it, the less familiar. I remember there being a map in rain and on like a some sort of like boat or thing. This is just where the ending of uh, A Way Out was. That is true. Did he mount his gun? Is that what he did? I don't yeah. know. I, I think that's what he did. Maybe. I don't know. That was a feature. When you have like that bipod. This is true. Am I good? <laughs> that guy really blew up. You know, why do they continue to show <laughs> the Call of Duty games and then it's just always the same thing? <laughs> look at that graphics. It doesn't even look that different from the other one. Look at the rain. I don't even know what the last Call of Duty was. I'm I've lost track. I liked Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the new one. You're gonna love Modern Warfare 2. I'd probably enjoy playing this game. <laughs> What's in there? Oh my god, sorry. I, I neglected to mention that gun also looked different. Where are the controls? On that damn ship. Actually, we got a problem. This is it, I think there's also missions from the story that are not maps in the multiplayer, or were like DLC maps. Yeah, there's just some like that. Oh, this is a good boat. I thought they were about to snap this guy's neck. <laughs> they really showed a boring ass mission. It should have been no Russian. It didn't have to be no Russian, but it shouldn't have been. <laughs> I mean, I think it should have been no Russian. That's what people... Because realistically, that's probably not in the game. So if you show that, know, and it is in the time game... to show uh, a match. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're sure there's a lot of people getting shot here. So I don't know if it's really any better. <laughs> Cargo crate technology. Yeah, I bet it's all physics based and not just animation. Why wouldn't it be? They know what they're doing over there at Infinity War. That's not what. <laughs> that's not what it's called. What? It's not called Infinity War. Infinity War. It sounded like you said Infinity War, like the Marvel movie. I do love Marvel. That is true though, this is almost exactly like the film Cars 2, a perfect movie. It took a while for that grenade to go off. Taking him all over this guy to finish his fucking mission and move on to the next game. He's, he looks like he's panicking. He forgot the script. <laughs> they were like, just get shot here. <laughs> oh, the bloody screen, no. The jelly, it's back. Oh my god, thank god. 
I get fucked. Wow, it's almost like he waited for that to happen because he knew. <laughs> if I was playing this mission, yeah, I'd have gone breach. already. It's gonna be in slow motion. He can't get on a submarine and not breach and clear. Yeah, he he is also just more hard to than that, but. No, oh, come on, man. That was a sick cut. Dude, was that favela? Maybe. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. That's what we're talking about. And is that the GM? Us now, up from Long Beach, Johanna, great to see you. Her fit is fucking great. crazy. Uh, great to I gotta say. And also Jeff from uh, Infinity Overalls. War. So and Jeff from the first Infinity gameplay, War looks pretty good too. Sequence, looks incredible. Uh, he looks Jeff, like he's on the Tony Hawk team. That mission. Uh, <laughs> where is that set in the game? What are we seeing there? Absolutely. So, um, first of all, we're really excited to welcome GM. back uh, Captain John and Price and uh, uh, Gaz uh, Garrett. <laughs> I feel like uh, I can't say his last know, name. They're not, re they're not actually <laughs> in what we just saw today, but uh, they're returning members from 141. And then the other two characters That's uh, crazy. That you may recognize from the older franchise that we're reimagining are uh, Simon ghost riley and dude uh, modern warfare course, 2 came uh, out so when this John guy was Cabbage. like 20 and now he's um, like 30. new characters in here that we're really excited uh, that we were <laughs> got a bit to older uh, than create that. for this game um, he doesn't look older first, than 30. Uh, commander philip graves mm. and uh, mexican special forces uh colonel alejandro this dude's alejandro, definitely alejandro, like 30. We're, it's a character we're really excited about he's a guy who's super capable and a guy uh who's just as this important as task force stupid. 141 um, but as far as the levels concerned, um, you know this. I, I got a shout yeah, out. Yeah, that is to correct. IW. This is Modern you know, this Warfare Two. A tremendous collaboration <laughs> that game, across that game all did of the, come out the a while ago. Uh, disciplines, as you saw, everybody coming together. Some really uh, motivated devs Remaster. here. And, uh, you know, you saw the. Yeah, the but it's not called. Don't call it that. The, uh, That's not what it is. This is Modern Warfare Two. Awesome sound design, and of course our new water tech, mm, which is actually pushing the boat in different tech. directions. It's creating a physically dynamic environment, allowing for the cover you were seeing. In certain cases, you could be behind cover and then suddenly that cover would shift and leave you exposed but it also leaves the enemy exposed creating this emergent game very play. cool um, i'm so, so I, excited again, for the I'm, I'm story excited. mode Just can't wait that i'm so excited that we get to show it off today i'm excited and for that tech in that one mission <laughs> Johanna, tell us a bit about Call of Duty overall. Modern How come they got so silly string you know, all over their so faces? It's back this year. Come We've got on, lots man. going on across Call of Duty. What can we expect from you guys? That's their campaign. Yeah, yeah, first of all, thanks for having us here. We're just so excited for October 28th. It's such a big <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, so make sure to drop the date. And everything that Jeff Why are you excited for October 28th? Built, really I don't get it. Change, what, what what's on October 28th? <laughs> for the entire franchise. You're going to see incredible rendering, incredible <laughs> oh, graphics, Jesus. all the things just within the game itself, built all on one shared engine now across Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 going forward. Of course, there's a lot of chatter and interest about the new Warzone experience. We're affectionately calling it Warzone 2.0. Warzone got a tag on um, Titan. There will this game be, doesn't. Um, I know where my loyalties lie. experience of Warzone for current existing um, players as well. So we're going to see the could entire community there. But... From All this eyes angle, on the 28th. he looks um, yeah, And again, I think the collaboration's eyes. just been the incredible. other angle, he didn't Everybody's so excited for, for Task Force 141. Um, I think it's because he pushed the beanie back a little well bit. I think that's on the go. I think it's revealing we're, that it's we're on Steam, as you know. I mean, so <laughs> yeah. it's just a big moment, and there's going to be a lot more to come in the in I don't the know. Look him up. Well, before we we leave, we got to ask a little bit about Warzone. Oh, so I'll just, look them you know, up then. Showing gameplay here on this, but can you tell us anything? There's a little bit. I wonder like there's if it's publicly available information. Yeah, when we're seeing that from the community, community, we love when the fans can pick up some things. Um, His some middle name's Keith. Maybe seeing high rise and, and other elements. I think but we will if this get is into the same the guy. Warzone 2.0 for sure. It will be an extension. Of <laughs> okay, Modern yeah, Warfare this is the same guy. Him with long hair. He looks 40 for sure. This moment is, is such an important uh, title for all of us looking looking ahead. And like we said, we're having a bold vision around the entire future for the franchise. So we're in we're in position. We're really excited. <laughs> all right. Well, we're looking forward some to October. Stuff, this guy was first look at this guy was like, additional crew on, on Rush Hour 3. Yeah. So um, he's kind right, of a well, big deal. Lots more Summer Game Fest mm. still to go. And now it's time to announce a classic he was gaming franchise is coming back. With a sequel Earthworm Jim. Years after its first release. That's not a classic. I love this game when PC I was growing up. Franchise. Oh, I'm honored to share. Uh, what's personal. that rabbit one? That one. You're talking about Jazz Jack Rabbit? Yeah. Microids? What the fuck? Thirty years later? Oh wait. Oh shit. Uh, this is uh. 
Is this a, another world or whatever? I think I've seen this before. No, wait. This might be something different. I don't fucking know what this is. What the fuck is this? The fight goes on. I'm trying to look up how old this guy is. <laughs> Stop. He's gone. It's kind of important that I know it because I'm just so curious now. That's flashback link to. What is flashback? I don't know. Isn't it? I'm just going to page and see what... I'm too young for this. All right, let's turn back time. Back in 2017, we announced Biography, Witch Fire he's, at the game He's Awards. a myth, dude. Almost the guy's age later, does not I exist so online. Excited. The team at the dude, I've been looking forward to Witch Fire. I think if, if it's a game, I'm thinking. Of this dark fantasy first-person shooter, which will enter early access soon. I am so oh, excited boy, I'm so this, excited. Will be too he's so this. excited to play this. So excited for early access. No, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like I remember seeing this. Looks cool. He said this is already announced, right? Yep. Oh, wait, yeah, I remember this. I just remember there being it's a game with, with, like, magic guns. Okay. That gun sounds like that. That gun really, really didn't beef up the sound design on that one gun, huh? That was a sick cut. This is like The Witcher with guns, is what it is. What it is. That's I, cool. I feel like that's what it's trying to give. Bell and Bell oh, that, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Borderlands. I, I couldn't think of what it was. Because I usually hate Borderlands. But this looks like the good parts of Borderlands. That's a big <laughs> He's walking towards the crystal, dude. I hope he gets it. Oh, it's going to end when he gets the crystal, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he's praying. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh no! Dude, he didn't get the crystal, what? Early access to him. That was not the cinematic yeah, game fucking... Store. <laughs> that was not the cinematic... Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Direction okay, next up comes an that it should have been. new game from a new independent studio in Europe, starring some very Ugh, familiar read names. Two. Enjoy this world premiere. Pro started lagging when he walked to the crystal, so true. Oh, this is a new announcement? Yeah, new indie studio. Let's Familiar Taylor people. Medlog, 29. Is that Troy Baker? Today, um... It's tinnitus. I can't believe what I saw. Subnautica 2. In space. Oh, nice. Score a drop. Everything okay in there? Fucking awesome. Excuse me? I scored a drop. Oh, nice. Did you get Protea? I don't know. I just planned it. You too can get Protea if you keep watching the stream. That's right. I got Protea. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one. Nice. Fucking nice. I love Warframe. That guy just got kissed. What? Is that dead space here? There's no way it's another Dead Space game. Something is going on here. And it's not my schnoz. And I need to find out. This is Fort Solace. Troy Baker. It is Troy Baker. That's another That's Protea drop in chat. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he's here. Troy and Roger in person. Guys, uh, this is so I haven't funny. seen anything on Troy Baker in forever. Talk about cool the NFTs, Troy. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, <laughs> oh, right, he did I that. I ask you guys, uh, who are your characters in this game? <laughs> well, uh, I get to play a character named Wyatt Taylor, who's a medical officer. Who's and he's really into, into NFTs. Uh, base, Fort Solace. <laughs> my and, apes, uh, Jeff. They took all my apes. This mystery that we'll discover and uncover as we go My the audible game. apes. Course, my character will be, at times, in opposition with Roger's character. 
That would be Battle a sick NFT. An <laughs> AI generated yeah, yeah. monkey oh, noise. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. And by the way, Jeff, this looks awesome, man. Yeah, it's man. so great to be here. Thanks for having us. I, it's, it's so great that you're in another game. We, I mean, it's feeling like this is your first game since yeah. Red Dead 2. One of the first Red major ones for Dead. a while. And I play a character by the name no, of Jack he's... Leary. He's a maintenance engineer. Oh, he's the, the guy from Arthur. Post. Yeah. Okay. And his job is to make sure that none of the equipment breaks down while it's on their graveyard shift. Uh -huh. The graveyard shift meaning Mars and Earth are really far apart True. from each other and their orbits around the sun. So help is not a simple call away. Uh, I gotta ask. I, I, I didn't expect him to just thing, sound like that. Wonder, you know, it's a new he has a very right? clear <laughs> accent. He has to. I guess it, they were just like, all right, you have a great southern accent. Values. You just need I'm to curious, do like, a southern how accent. How did you guys get attached to this? Tell us a bit about the background. I I will say that 2020 to me was the most impactful year for games. It was the first. I mean, obviously we had this unprecedented event with the pandemic, and that forced the way that we looked at everything as a society, but also the way this industry functioned. But it was also brand new consoles. We had more tools that were being made available that were leveling the play. More tools like NFTs. AAA studios and the indie studios of the AAA studios. And so just like anybody else, we got reached out. Uh, James Tinsdale with this brand new studio said, we'd like for you to uh, consider being a part of this game. And he walked me through a very brief description of what the experience was going to be like. And in the very beginning, I really he needed said, money at the time. We want this to feel, it's a, it's a tight thriller. We want it to feel like Dead Space meets uh, uh -huh. Duncan Jones Moon. That's like, Sign me up. I'm into that, absolutely. And full like performance capture and everything. Ah, right? yeah. Absolutely. New studio, brand new energy, and of course, I get to work with one of the best of the business. Jeff. And me. <laughs> I get the privilege Who's the of other? getting to see this guy and watch him in action. Uh, I, you know, I love to work, and I love the challenges and all the new innovations that this medium provides to performers. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Yeah. I think it's going to knock Yeah, I guess I've off. seen some of the behind the scenes. This guy's energy rules. Capture, Unreal Engine Get Troy Baker off the stage. It looks absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Can you give us a hint about the, the gameplay? Like, what are we going to do in this game? Yeah, the verbs are always important. Jeff's shoes so go crazy. We're going to let the game speak for itself. We'll be showing you more later on. But He's got uh, some uh, fucking game, game award player, kicks, We're going to be dude. exploring. We're going to be discovering. Like we said, it's a very tight thriller. So you're moving very fast-paced through this world. There'll be multiple locations, multiple ways for you to traverse, which we're excited to show you about uh and then the the narrative is a huge element to this the they they didn't waste uh any any resources on the the performance for sure i gotta tell one quick story yeah. if i can um it was one of our favorite moments um there is a lot of action in this game and that was at the the, the forefront of this and to speak to the performance capture aspect we brought in an incredible i gotta give him a shout out uh, to nathaniel our stunt coordinator who walked us through and really approached this in a completely different way than anything I've ever done before. And he says, I want to know the story of this fight. And so Roger and I sat down, we said, these are where our characters are. And he goes, give me one hour and I will come back to you with the story of this fight. And after an hour, he comes to us and he goes, it was like a, like a recovery program, it was 12 steps. And he walked us through this incredible fight. And I was, I, about halfway out, uh, halfway through, I started tuning him out. And I was like, hey man, I just wanna let you know, I've got no ego about this, but I can do a lot of things. But I, I can't do this. And he grabbed me by my shoulders and he says, oh, you can, you will, and it's going to be glorious. And we did. And it's we like did. It was like a dance. It was a lot of trust, and it worked out. Yeah, I mean, we're big, excited big about stunts. It, yeah, uh, yeah I, I mean, this is so cool to see. Is it an independent studio doing this, teaming up with you guys. We can't wait to see more. Troy, Roger, thanks for joining us here. Happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Very right, exciting stuff. Thank you very much, guys. All right, well, next up, keeping up with the space theme, it's time space, to world space, premiere space. a very exciting new game which will feature a musical score by industry legend Mick oh. Gordon. This one is going to grab you, and we are so honored to debut it. I wonder if it's a shooting game. The back rooms? Fish? What the fuck? I'm liking the vibes. Okay, we're in space. Back rooms, we're in the back rooms. I want to make God. They knew what they were doing with this one. They were like, we need to capture the analog horror of the back rooms and we need to put it in a video game. And it will sell a million copies. Oh. That's just how the game is? As a printer. <laughs> What the fuck? This a horror game? It's a robot. 
It's a T-1000. This game looks really cool. Uh, assuming the gameplay actually looks like this. Hmm, we'll see. Oh shit. Routine. Can you hear a single Mick Gordon train? Oh. Raw Fury. I've seen them before. Doesn't that look yeah, great? That was company. routine coming to Xbox and PC. It Forget was first announced a decade ago and is now officially back. I can't wait to see them. Now it's time to check in with a very special guest who's been in his fair share of video games, including most recently <laughs> Fortnite as the foundation. Dwayne Jones. I forgot he was even Welcome supposed to, to be here. Game Fest. How are you? He's not even here. He's fucking oh, naked. He's in the hey, gym, up, dude. Hey, Why does it say Project TV? Rock Summer back there? Game Fest audience is live streaming right now around the world. This is pre-recorded. the epic IMAX theaters. Dwayne Johnson here coming at you from my iron paradise, the very hot and sweaty and smelly iron paradise, uh, powered by, of course, oh my Zoe God, dude. <laughs> the number one fastest growing energy drink in the game. You guys know me uh, by a lot of nicknames The Rock, La Roca in Spanish, uh, Uncle Handsome, Sexiest Man Alive, uh, Big Drink Energy. <laughs> he did it. Always room for a cheesy joke. There's always room for the extra large cheese pizza, especially when I'm delivering and I deliver them often. The Rock uh, delivers pizza? You guys this also is insane. know me as greatest <laughs> this and really most feels electrifying like surprise in gaming. Someone called it a happened. favor. You know me as the foundation. And I gotta tell you guys, uh, number one, thank you so much for the crazy you response really that vine boom. the foundation. But also, I gotta say that, you know, I've had such a pleasure uh, working with um, Epic Games and uh, the teams over there, and we cannot wait to show you what we have in store for the future. And speaking of the future, in the future, you will also know me as Black oh, Adam. Oh, true. Black Adam, as millions of you Advertise know, another know thing, know Dwayne. Black Adam mythology. He is ruthless. He is unstoppable. And for those who don't, I would like to is say... Is this because he's in the Midnight Suns? Um, Black Adam has the powers of Superman, but the only difference... Well, there's a few differences, but one of the biggest differences is Superman's weakness is magic, and Black Adam's, one of his superpowers, is magic. So you do the math. Uh, October 21st, oh, I true. cannot oh. wait for you guys to see Black Adam around the world in theaters only. Dwayne, what is this, dude? Of power this is an ad. The DC Universe change. Uh, he just one-taked this in his fucking gym. It is a role that's in my DNA and that I was born to play. I was born to play the man in black. And I'm honored to show it to you guys on October 20. <laughs> so until then, uh, stay healthy, stay safe, stay focused, keep having fun, keep kicking ass, uh, enjoy your game. Take back what's ours. This is Black Adam. Thank God a movie trailer and a video game fest what is exactly what I wanted. You? Nothing but hurting. I love video games. I was a slave until Oh, this I is died. a DC thing. I thought this was... Then I was reborn I'm so alive. confused. I, I really just don't know anything. Well, I got him DC road. Now, I kneel before no one. I just assumed that it was going to tie into Midnight Suns, because that would be relevant. But I guess I was giving too much credit to this rock ad. Or you can be its savior. Wow, that suit looks cool. That was Steven Universe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they'll probably put him in the court. up to you. Behind you! Did he just catch a rocket? He got a rocket. What is the lore of Black Adam? Oh, it's like that. It's not like, like an Adam. <laughs> it's like his name is Adam. Like Adam and Eve. Destiny? Oh, what the, no, who the fuck plays this game, man? I've never even heard of this, dude. It came out and it, like, flopped instantly. <laughs> Probably why. I think I became a little combat skeleton. 
This looks like best. You know, I think I remembered them showing Star Wars Battle like Destiny. It's a three-player co-op shooter game. Right. Yeah, okay, that. It's that. <clears throat> the one that's three players for some fucking reason. That's the perfect amount of people. My the crazy thing to me is like, especially if it's a shooting game, how do you design it for three people and not for four? Like. <laughs> Dude, four is too many. Like, what goes through your head? I only had room for three. And they're like, mm, uh, we could add like one more person. Uh, two is just, uh, it's, it just doesn't feel like enough, but you know, four is too many. This is a video game, video game. I can't believe this trailer stuff. Oh. oh my gosh, you look so much like uglier than that fucking art, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, people can fly. Interesting. Uh, oh, game reveal tomorrow? I'll Square be there. Enix? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I wanna see Let's that. go! Nintendo! Indie games? Boo, boo. That's not an indie game. This is all stuff that's announced already. I mean, yeah. It's not gonna... That's coming out. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out this month. Like Xenoblade Chronicles 3. These are like ads. These are not game reveals. These are all ads. <laughs> Black Adam kicked it off. Okay, well this is a commercial. That's fucking Fall Guys. Fall Guys free? Free to play? That guy turned into Fall Guys, man. She's gonna do is it that Saikuno? It could be. Or am I just being racist? <laughs> <laughs> no, kid, that's Valkyrie, so that was definitely Saikuna. Okay. No, you're just being racist, dude. Oh! <laughs> Why did she turn into a dinosaur? Wait, maybe they were all streamers. Okay, yeah, that's... I, is that Nick Merckx? I don't remember, dude. Where's Tim the Tat, man? Where's Dr. Disrespect? I don't know who these people are. <laughs> Who's the hot dog guy? Who's old lady streamer? Is that... Is that Minx in an old lady costume? Oh, was that Courage? Yeah, I really just... They're, all the Call of Duty people are the same person. They're all Tim the Tatman, but Not worse. Fuck, dude. I'm sorry. What do you mean, season one? Yeah, they're, so they're resetting for the free to play that thing. That was so fun to see. Curry it's season one of free for all. Battle Taz better still be free, dude. I don't fall fucking guys bust one. Starting June twenty first across all platforms, including Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PC. Okay, well he didn't say Saikuno, so right, I, now I feel like maybe we're both being racist here. We're going to a brand new game and universe from a new team of legends. He just kind of looked like Saikuno. That's all I'm out. saying. But maybe the cheekbones weren't right. I'm I'm not really sure. Australian Studios? Aurora Borealis. So true. It was 100% Psychuna? Alright, if you're confident, then... <laughs> then you're not <laughs> racist. We're both racist, then, so I'm in. This is Destiny, right? Yeah, it's literally Destiny. Breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. People are saying this is StarCraft devs. Frost Giant? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why? How come they're using the, the dudes from Destiny? Wizards from the moon. <laughs> Those are literally wizards from the moon. Or I guess it's not the moon. God damn, dude! <laughs> Command, I may be onto something. I love when the thing goes in the hole. I love when the thing goes in the hole, you know what I'm saying? I hate when the thing Lego built itself. It's even playing the Lego Star Wars music. I have it, Command. Repeat, I have it. Mission accomplished. I have the shield of Azathir. Oh no, it's the Moon Warlocks. Oh, it's Diablo. God, why does everybody have to pull out a gun, dude? I'm so tired of it. 
doesn't seem like it would be an RTS. Well, it's just a cinematic trailer. Where are my troops? Right here. Hang tight, Doc. I've got this. You gotta protect your crystal, that's your resources. That guy's a Raid Shadow Legends enemy. He looks like a Diablo dungeon boss. This kinda looks like shit. <laughs> I mean, it's just the cinematic trailer. A lot of, I mean, like a lot of the, the trailer itself looks like shit. You don't like, like D.Va from weird. Overwatch fighting uh, Diablo dungeon boss? There's a lot of weird animation going on here. It doesn't look that weird. It, it looks just like, looks weird. It looks like how I would expect an RTS animated trailer to look. Hell's coming with it. Where's Raynor? Okay, that's the StarCraft logo, but it says something different. <laughs> that's fucked up. Oh, well, why is that in two, in two FPS? What the fuck? They did not quality assure that fucking... Yeah, oh, they have somebody out here for it? Oh, no. Storm Just some random guy. Is real. We have a name and some details. Uh, so, first of all, congratulations on this that's announcement. We're so excited about the return man. of RTS. Brand new uh, franchise. What is a Stormgate, though? All right, so Stormgates are portals that open during a massive solar storm that unleash the infernal host on future Earth. True. Okay. Very uh, cool. And we saw some hints. <laughs> Jeff was like, like uh, guys coming from Blizzard and stuff. Okay. Uh, races, what a uh, fucking nerd. Sides in this RTS game. Yeah, so you really picked a good time to leave Blizzard. Uh, tell us about today, that. But there will be more. <laughs> uh, so the human resistance, and we saw an archaeologist from the human resistance in that intro cinematic. Did you try uh, any of the breast also milk? Also the infernal hosts who are these demon-like mm. monsters who come from another world. Uh, I think one thing everyone wants to know about, especially your background pedigree of the team, of, you know, where do you want to push the RTS genre? It's something we've all loved for decades, but you know, opportunity for a lot of innovation. Um, I know you're going to show us, I think, some, some hints of where you're going to go Im image-wise with the actual gameplay made in Unreal Engine, but any sense of what you want to made in Unreal Engine. in this game? Epic Games Store exclusive. I, but the first thing I want to say is we are very consciously trying to stay true to what players already love about RTS. Um, where <sighs> we're really trying to push the genre and be innovative. First off, approachability. Mm. Um, for one thing, we're free to play, uh, but no pay to win, no NFTs, nothing Based. like that. Um, just to he said NFT. I love that Troy's we have crying. To say this. Troy's also, crying. Really trying to be a lot more social, um, so you'll be able to play the campaign. I'd rather them say it. We've got three-player open-ended co-op, uh, <laughs> and we've it. even got three versus three for competitive multiplayer. But of course, I don't want to hear that word anymore, man. Well, I mean, it's and as a little surprise, it's a real thing, unfortunately. Work in progress. My apes uh, from the game, right? Yeah, these gaming are still NFTs are still they're a hot topic being right worked now. on, but some shots of uh, actual assets. That, that is demon bats coming from the storm gate. Wow, well, I, Those I, are, I love it. Now, 2023, uh, you said this it is an RTS. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it looks like and RTS. I'm just so thrilled thieves. that there is a, a brand new RTS That's franchise. Fun. I don't know. I mean, it looks fine. It's an RTS. Doesn't really have to look that good. This team, Frost Giant. Thank you so much for giving us your announcement today on Summer Game Fest. Thank you so much. There you go, stage of Baldy. Awesome. All right, Frost Giant, dude, come Stormgate, on. keep an eye out for it. Now it's time for another indie game announcement that I'm excited to share with you. High Water. Check this one out. Is that the title? Or that sounds familiar. Game? No, I think that's what it's called. Good morning, High Water Dwellers. High Water okay. Pirate Radio, well. keeping you in the know with our flow. Alphaville authorities continue to deny false rumors that Alphaville elites are planning to evacuate to Mars. True or not? I think this game is trying to tell me something. <laughs> ended on a sunny day. I feel like a game came out that was like this already. Yeah, it's uh, there will be blood, there will be fire, something like that. No. I have that game. Are you talking about it's the flame about... and the flood? Yes. That's not what I'm talking about. That game's about being in a boat. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. That guy's big. What kind of game is boat. this? Like, what is, is it like an adventure game? Like, what is, what is going on here? This is a walking simulator. What in a boat? That guy is fucking awesome. 
<laughs> that girl is a skulking, dude. Okay, I literally got nothing from that trailer. Sick. I think you got everything. I really just don't know anything about the game. I, I know that there's water. What a breathtaking trailer. Don't, Jeff. Come on, man. Game. Such okay. A world ravaged by extreme climate Adventure strategy now, game. Of the world around us, the conflict in Ukraine is not far from True. anyone's mind. I was just going to ask you about games, that, Jeff. Including replaced from Sad Cat Studios, a Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus and Ukraine. Oh, okay. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today. I wasn't sure where this was going. Unable to My video games. Guys, no. I just want to say we're thinking of you and Ukraine. all the developers. Play harder so I can have my video game. Your work at a future show. All right, our next game is That's nice that they still showed the it. Tribeca Games Festival. It's American Arcadia uh, where you play Trevor, Trevor, whose life is being televised with the viewing population who has a shitty 70s haircut and mustache. When you become unpopular, it's like you need show? to start running for your life. Check this out. All Fury. They love the film game at All Fury. Where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and I hate their film brain. I hate the VHS. Oh, it was just on the TV. Okay, My grandfather, God. Elijah Walton, had a dream. This woman got no nose. Of tomorrow. That dream that's weird because he does and she doesn't. And that city is Arcadia. This look like this is Planet Zoo. This yeah. is like Planet Coaster. <laughs> Hi, Mac. Metropolis, where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury. And this does look like a strategy game. Broadcast live. I assume that it is. A day, seven days a week on every digital platform. American Arcadia. Control. Subject on the run on camera four zero two five. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Oh, okay. No. Oops. This look like limbo and inside. Listen to me. We can't allow Trevor Hills to escape under any circumstances. Trevor. Trevor, can you hear me? Be careful and don't make a sound. Don't worry. I wonder if you play I'm the person watching him there. and not him. Yeah, that I think you sense. play her. I think it's like a one person like co-op type experience, yeah. Oh, it's, it's like on the beach. We've made it to the beach. What the Next fuck? This is a sequel we've all been anticipating the beach, for the a beach? long time. There's trouble That's in Nicky paradise. Minjaj. And watch out. You don't want to get bitten. This is a shark game. Of rumors, <laughs> watch out. You don't want to get bitten. The, the shark game that came out a bit ago. Is it a sequel to that? Coffee stain. Yeah, that, that cool. is the studio. That's Sonic. He didn't really tie that up. Damn, he has no ass. No ball. Wait, Dead Island? No chest. This is the like the Dead Island trailer. Is this actually Dead Island 2? This looks like shit for Dead Island 2. There's no way Dead Island 2. I mean, that was announced. But this is exactly how the Dead Island trailer is. Oh, Goat Sim. That's badass. Goat Sim 2. Let's fucking go, dude. It looked too much like a comedy game. <laughs> Sick. Dude, you stepped in poopy. That looked like an anatomically accurate goat shit. Three? What, what was two? I think that's the joke. <laughs> there you have it. That was Goat Simulator 3, and it's coming later this year to the Epic Games Store. Now, last Woo! year, Marvel and 2K announced Marvel. I want this Sons, game to be a good. Tactical RPG from Firaxis why? Games, the studio behind X what do you mean, why? Civilizations. You know, play? Avengers and X it's an XCOM game. Yes. Supernatural ones like Blade oh, right. It's made by those bros. For a battle against Lilith, the mother of demons. 
Today, we've got to look at some new folks set to join the battle. Master, oh, I thought it said Master of Muppets, dude. I just gaslit myself. <laughs> I, just, I think I read the M from Metallica, and I was like, oh, that's Master of Muppets. Yeah, 2K owns Fire Axis, I think. That's Venom. That is, he looks the same, though. Damn, that demon's kind of thick. That's Nemesis. That's a green That's lantern. Green fart. And I will make you Is that like a lore enemy? I think it's a lore enemy. That's She-Hulk. That's the lady from Starcraft. There, Morbius. Yeah, so is she like taking over Venom? Oh, there's it's the new like Venom design. Typical Parker luck. Yuri Lowenthal? As it should be. Or an impersonator? <laughs> now we get a Spider Man outfit. That's Blade. That sure is. That's Scarlet Witch. It's a good sign when there's like random people that I don't recognize from Marvel. That's how it should be in these games. Dude, it's playing Master of Puppets because she like controls the bros. Is that new Venom? There's no way, right? That's Scarlet Witch. Oh, that's okay, good. that's gotta be new Venom. That's badass, actually. That's Hulk. Oh, they got the Hulk, too? He looks weird. I don't know how I feel about that. But that's pretty crazy. That's Doctor Strange. What? <laughs> Pre-order? I didn't know Doctor Strange was in the game. I mean, it, you know, it makes sense they plug him now because the movie just came out. This suit looks wild. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. Oh, okay. I, was that a reference to something? That I don't. Midnight Suns, and Maybe. now we're moving on know. to the wonderful world of Cuphead. The delicious I feel bad for this course. girl. And you, can you believe it? We're only She's a in the couple green weeks away. Hell. She's in the tight the pants. Last course DLC. You see how they did that for Cuphead? Joining me now is Maya Maldenhauer from Studio MDHR. So first of all, Maya, it's really coming. It's really coming June 30th on all major platforms. We are thrilled. Well, Did it get like pushed so back? I feel too, like it must have, uh, right? I think all the fans can't believe that this is here. And I've been lucky enough to play this actually on my Steam Deck uh, last week. And you guys gave me a copy. This, I, I can't, people are not going to be ready for how amazing this looks and the backgrounds and what you guys have done. I feel like you've, you've amped up, obviously, the gameplay. It's difficult, as we would expect, but... The visual look, you guys have taken it even to the next level, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, we absolutely did. I couldn't pinpoint one thing that we're proud of in this because we really honed our craft, took everything to the next level from animation, the backgrounds, the music, gameplay design, um, and of course, our new playable character, Miss Chalice. I'm very proud of her. Chalice is fun to play as, and, and even though this is a DLC, it feels like it's its own game inside of Cuphead in many ways. It is, it is, definitely. Yeah, yeah you just get, get on the island, and, and there you are off to this new... Uh, I like that they advertise that it's on God. Yeah, it's our biggest island yet. Super-sized bosses, lots of secrets to discover. Um, don't let any rock go unturned. Yes, and lots of challenge ahead. Well, I know you brought. I, I know you want. You don't want people to necessarily ha have too much spoiled about the game, but you brought a little something. People a little play, something, right? yeah. It's uh, brand new gameplay footage of one of our new bosses, Mortimer Freeze. It takes place <laughs> in an icy arena, um, and features some of my personal. Spider-Man Three. Um, he used the bells. I kind of figured it was something like that. I just Hope haven't seen that movie it. in like ten years. All right, years. let's check it out. Cuphead: The Delicious Last Course. Mm. Next mile. That's a bridge. I don't want to be spoiled on these bosses. <laughs> Too late. Uh, it's the boss is fucking game. easy, dude. Uh, you just jump over the fucking projectiles. Good one. <laughs> you 
She's using the lightning triple shot. That's busted, dude. This character's overpowered. God, they make Cuphead for babies. True. She even parried it. True. A real pro playing this game. Oh my god, that was scripted, dude. She almost died. She almost got hit and died. She got 4 HP. She got a fucking HP boost, dude. Good old games. Now, if you want even more Cuphead and who doesn't, tomorrow, tomorrow. we will show you an exclusive look at season two of the Cuphead show when I co-host Netflix's Geek Week, which will include new show and game announcements. It streams at God damn it. Pacific Did you save all the good announcements for Netflix Geek Week, Jeff? All, the, what the fuck? Game Fest all weekend long. Coming up next is the Day of the Devs Indie Showcase. Oh, that is? I am 8-Bit and Double Fine, then Devolver's Marketing I guess. Countdown to Marketing. Tomorrow, after Geek Week, there is the Epic Game Store Showcase at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. I feel like it, didn't it, feel like it was ending on that, and but... And the Tribeca Game Showcase. <laughs> and Sunday, don't miss the Xbox and Bethesda oh, Game okay. Showcase that was with a look at the future of Xbox and Game Pass. Now we have some yeah. exciting news for it's Nintendo not. Switch and PC fans about Neon White, a game where you Fuck. play an assassin from hell who slays demons for the chance to ascend. Are you gonna buy this game? Why don't you it see it anymore? I thought this had a release date already as well. No, it's not. There's not a definite one. It's just early it's a fucking summer 2020. Game. They showed enough. This game is fucking rad game. though. I played the fuck out of this demo. It looks it's got okay. Steve Blum. Neons, sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. But I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. Cool and fast and speedrun friendly. That's not an advertisement. Doesn't mean I don't need it. It means something to me. It means Steve Blum is in. And uh, Prozy D and uh, fucking that one guy, I forget his name. Uh, good thinking. Hey, that is the hot girl. You should have left with that. I hate women. Nice Evangelion reference. Dude. Fuck. Next week. Aww. That's so long from now. We've shown you lots Actually, of games today made by huge teams. Now it's time for a game made by a single doesn't look like a speedrunnable game. It just looks like Over a game that's year, fast. He's brought on some help to bring Stop telling me to speedrun things. Fast action game I'm not Midnight telling you to speedrun I'm talking to Marcos in the chat. Take you, a fucking, look. You, oh. you can't call something a speedrun game when it doesn't mean that. Anything's a speedrun game. That's not a high score game like that. No. You know the saying. I think I shared this down, before. Get up again. I don't know. Speedrun. There's like eight games that look like this. Well, it's time, partner. Made by a single day. Rise up. Together. Looks fine. It looks like it's like a fun little. The big guys That's the Joker. Decided to side see lives as dollar signs. The stink of corruption all over me. Looks like one of those fun Xbox Live Arcade no, games it. I used to play when I was a youngin. He was in the name. I'm wearing it anymore, and neither are you. Tonight, we wash this whole damn city down. Curator of Destiny 2, the Witch Queen. The stuntman of God of War? <laughs> That's badass. Midnight Flight Express. That's the day after my birthday. Such a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC Jeff demo looks so is excited, going live dude. right now on Steam. Demo we'll on Steam. Steam Next Fest next week. I really want more playable Steam games. Oh, so, who's guys this woman? Pro to totally you. Check it out. All right, joining me now is Megan from Digital Extremes to talk I all things Warframe. I thought she was wearing sweatpants. Megan, I was like, that really so seems good. like it. <laughs> that would have been so sick. I know. We got like, it just happened to always have these Her fit is actually wild. I don't we know have how a that works out, right? Okay. We do well. We have a great it's like cut in half on one side. Years, and I know right now, anyone watching on 
Twitch well, that's not the part that's wild about it. Is get a Dude, Twitch Protea, right. play ball. Getting it, so yes. it's very you better play exciting. with the hecky sack. Have you proud. gotten Protea? Protea you? Yeah, that's watching. right. You? Have Thank you gotten you Protea? Thanks for watching. Oh. On stream. Special events category, but she is there and she is for you if you are. That doesn't do anything for me. No, Warframe, you know, has very done a lot over the years. You Protea. guys do incredible Ooh. things with the game. And I know you have Tenocon coming up in July, which is your big kind That's of where all the Warframe fans can, can start jerking off and be like, yeah, I spent so much us? fucking money on this well, game. Well, I can't tell too much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, July 16th, yes. 2022. It's a digital event again this year. Uh, today, actually, we Is it me or does like everyone with Megan have for it, red so hair? You can get some in game goodies, some really cool Everybody who's named Megan. Merch, not all with really Megan. Stuff went live today. But of course, the reason I'm Everyone with the name of Megan. To, you know, no, I feel like everybody named Megan has red hair. That's just like a red hair name. Big reveal of the night. And we usually do a little bit of a, a gameplay, a little bit of a demo. And I think a lot of people can I feel like the ratio is skewed be, at the very least. But I'm here least. to kind of confirm what it is that Tunnel Live is going to show. And what is that? Can I say it? Yes, I think you can. Okay, you're going to get your first look at the Deviri Paradox. It's finally. Finally, I know. I know it's been a couple of years. Uh, but Deviri Paradox is going to be what Ten Alive is all about, and I'm so happy. Uh, it's I've it's waited so long for the Deviri Paradox. You're about to yeah. see for it, and I'm just I really proud to show it. Do you, actually, do I have the fucking Twitch drop? I don't know if I got the Twitch right drop. Now. Okay, I did. My child, my just making friend. sure. What was done is done. She's like our age. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean. New choices await us now. No, I'm watching the official stream. Is that... Um... The real actor? Huh? <laughs> that dude looks like the real actor. I forget his name. He's in that movie with Nick Cage, where they're both movie stars. He's like Spanish, yeah. I think. Dream he looked like that world. guy. I forget his... Yeah, I forget his name. Who we have become. Hello. Very paradox. Yeah, Pedro Pascal. That's his name. I, I wanted to say his name was Pablo, and I was like, that's the one feel right. Dude, you get Titania if you watch Tanocon. Oh! And the Crescent Knight bum, bum, uh, bundle? Count me in. And the Stranger's Hood. Yeah, it's like from that looks like from Game of Thrones, dude. Thank God. Oh, oh let's nice fucking star, go, yeah. dude. Star damn, that girl's hot. Let's go, dude. Yeah, a lot of space I love space. anime. <laughs> mobile and PC. This studio continues to deliver. And this is a new game. Crash in my really fucking mouth. Exotic realm. This is a new game. Yeah. To explore. What about their other new game? <laughs> they got like three new games, dude. Dude, there's just I can, you're telling me I can pull waifus in space. I can pull waifus in the weird future Which one of these apocalyptic is a five universe. Star? Uh, is that like, one a five star? No, that's the well, that's the main character. The probably. Hoyoverse. Um, so he's probably a five star by default, actually. You yeah. Are in a daze right now. You don't so know much space. You are, why you're here? It's not enough space that's games. Not people. Uh, mommy just, alert! Just Sound the alarm! Guy. Ding 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 ding. They treat me like family. Oh my Thank god, god, my like mommy alarm's going off. In my dude. room that needs family. <laughs> dude, these are gonna make great <laughs> figures to put in my jar. <laughs> I love gotcha games. You will arrive at the end of the story. Okay, the back girl. I'm trying to pull her, you know. Female Deluke? That's what we're talking about. Oh, she's evil, evil mommy. Let's go. Dude, no one can be a mommy without kids. Okay, well, maybe she wasn't evil. Maybe she just activated his powers. I don't know. I have wine to soothe the. Is that a Genshin Impact guests. character? <laughs> Welcome aboard. The oh no, he runs the Genshin Impact area <laughs> in the game. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, there's their other game. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, this one looks way cooler. Please stop, Jeff. How much money did you take from China? No, no, no. They can show this one. This one looks okay. I've seen so far. It was announced a couple weeks ago, and it has the detail of Genshin Impact with a fast-paced action style. Here All right, well, let's not talk about Genshin brand Impact. Brand new look at Zenless's notable characters, armed enemies, and world of danger. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, this one's fine. Where's Super Mario? Genital issue. I, I couldn't even read what that said. <laughs> it said, like, gentle... I didn't use it. That's why oh, I fox girl with titties, let's go. Fox oh, guy with the penis, let's go. let's go. Oh, well. A single 11 year old, let's go. Oh, Fire Force, let's go. Fire Force 11 year old? Japanese? Yeah, we don't need to see the combat. I mean, I guess that's all it is, right? It's the combat, so maybe we didn't see the combat. I hope my family doesn't hear me screaming about that. Yeah, well, it has a big guy, and that's why it's different. It has a big bear guy. No, the character design in this game looks way more interesting than the other ones. Because it's got furries okay, in this I think it man. actually, now that I think about it, it might be because it has the furries. Genshin doesn't really have furries. Uh, I mean, it easy, does. Easy is what I do when I see this fucking game. Okay, dude. TV. Is that the logo? I don't know what that yes. is. Okay. <laughs> Thank God some real Let's news. Go, oh, Ninja Turtles! Here was TMNT Shredder's Revenge, which reminds us all of the Turtles arcade games back in the day. Well, the sexiest characters in gaming. Master Shredder, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo. Shredder. The Foot Ninja. Because they have foot in their name. No, yeah, I don't know if you're aware, but all the all the MiHoYo games are just... Oh, and Casey. I always forget about him. Um, all the MiHoYo games are just Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is like the open world one, though. That's the only difference, as far as I know. Or maybe it's just that it's the Breath of the Wild one. I'm not really sure. That's the Turtle Tenderizer, dude. Very cool. I love turtles. Beat them up. I love turtles. That true. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Six player mode. See, that's, that's crazy. Too many people. This is what I'm talking about. Six players? That's absurd. How do you even have that many controllers? I thought Smash Brothers. Oh, did he get a basketball uniform when he did that dunk? That was crazy. Tribute to Cold Studio. I'm sure this game will be fine. June 16th as well, dude. That's also next week. How am I gonna live? Super people? This game still exists? <laughs> it's not out yet. What the fuck, dude? Army man on chessboard. I love sexy women. I love bugs. sexy men. Let's go. He's got a bit of a schnauzer though. I love the New Jersey diner. So true. That's like a fucking dollar, dude. Come on. You got to tip more than that. I mean, I guess he only had a coffee, so maybe that's fine. Or maybe he was just paying for the coffee, actually. So he didn't even tip. He didn't even tip for the coffee. What the hell, dude? Fucking bastard. What about sexy they thems? If they show us sexy they them. But this is video games. This is, they don't do that. Is that shooting at him or away from him? I could not tell. I think she's shooting her RPG at the RPG. Final shot. beta. 
That's not even there for the actual go. game. Is this Sonic Origins? Kind. Oh, no, it's this. this. Ad, dude. We're on the ad section again. This game's already out, this I'm pretty the, sure. This is the pee break section. Pee break and stretch. This game... Whoa, that lady's naked. Alright, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Um... This game is, like... I, I think it's cool, but, like... Oh, they're adding Latin America. Uh, it's not as in good as Civ. Hey, what are you talking about? It's playing Flight of the Bumblebee. Is this a, a TV series? <laughs> what is going on? Is that Billy Irish? No, it looks nothing like her. <laughs> this is a woman of color, you racist. How is that racist, dude? How far will you push? Okay, so they're just bringing it to console. That ad was so weird. That's her. Oh, is she the mascot? I was wondering why they were showing her. Because she had blue hair. And I was like, truly she doesn't just have blue hair and pronouns without it. <laughs> about it meaning allows something. You to shape your civilization by combining a multitude of historical civilizations from the ancient to the modern era. One Ooh, yeah, piece baby. Is celebrating its 25th Dude, I forgot about this year, shit. And Bandai Namco is bringing the mega popular franchise back to video games with One Piece. This will be the good one, though. Monkey to Luffy and his crew. Uh, <laughs> Monkey to Luffy. That was so hype. Oh, that was so sick. Hat crew become marooned in this exciting He's a rapper, JRPG. Monkey DeLuffy. <laughs> That's so sick. The Straw Hat Pirates journeying along the Grand Bro. Line. He did and not say never journey. <laughs> he said journey, dude. Come on. I'm pretty sure Oda has done all of the stories. I, Oda is like inhuman. He just like pumps stories out. Can't this thing like fly at this point? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, exactly. Bro, Frankie. I noticed there's no Jimin on this boat, so this is like. It takes place before that. Jimin? <laughs> no, I mean Jimin. A different man. Listen, I was trying to keep it spoiler free, okay? <laughs> I think you're just thinking about BTS like you always do. I don't think so. Dude, he's gonna do the fucking. Oh, I always forget a dumb French name. Uh, um. uh, Flambe, um. Yep. Um. Oh god. There's, I, I had one and I lost it. Yep. You got oh, it. Oh god. They're all so hard. Like that guy. And that girl? Strong gun. <laughs> that girl's face was microscopic. <laughs> Unravel the adventure that awaits. Yeah, I'll be sure too. That's a monkey? That was a weird monkey, dude. That was like a torpedo monkey. This like a traditional maybe? One piece of so, it looks like they're just, I think it it's looks more like, like um world red like a and dragon quest type meme. I don't think it's like turn based but I think it's more like world red where like you This August Soul Hackers uh, 2 from Atlas launches It's like monster on it ish Listen to the English voice cast with this I'm quick gonna new fucking look. shoot myself dude <laughs> What did he even just say Soul Hackers 2 Ringo? It's another JRPG. Ringo. Is this another Miyoyo game? <laughs> no, this is an Atlas game. Yeah. They make games that aren't fighting games? Yeah, like Persona. Uh, but that's like a Sega game. <laughs> Are we sure this isn't Mihoyo? I, I know this is not Mihoyo. 
<laughs> okay, that dude looked sick. He had no limbs. So that's our mission, then. This looks like the mobile game Dislight. <laughs> this is... So like we do. Games featured across SGF events, you might be wondering <laughs> how to like... plan for your summer gaming dreams. Nerd oh, Wallet thank God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Nerd Wallet. <laughs> I've heard that. Epic Mega Sale is going on right now. Save up to 75%. Uh, that's, yeah, that's been going on since May. Just have an ad run, dude. I bought uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed with that. <laughs> with that coupon. Sure be sure to claim your copy before the sale ends oh, shit, it's free? Oh, Tune into fuck. the Epic Game Store Twitch channel for our summer showcase. I gotta get Man Eater, dude. That's a great stream Pacific. game. We're taking a look Damn, at new announcements and updates from PC titles heading to the store this year and beyond. Epic Game Store, dude. Xbox Game Pass. What if you have Xbox Game Pass? <laughs> what if all games were ten dollars? <laughs> is what their slogan should be. <laughs> Stadia. People still own that. You nuts. Me. Wait, my coupon expires soon. I have another coupon. I guess I do. I used one already. I guess this is a new sale. They give you another coupon, do I give you coupons then? It's a 20% off. God, Among Us X Fortnite is on the front page. <laughs> what? <laughs> Among Us X Fortnite is on the front page. You play Imposter and Fortnite? I don't know which game it was for, it just... <laughs> I, just I just don't know. It just said... I think it said Among Us X Fortnite. Unless it was Fortnite X Among Us. God, I don't know anymore. I don't see that at all. I think you're fucking bugging. I'll I'll read it. Now it's a Fortnite thing. Get Among Us themed Fortnite backbling and emo with any Among Us eligible purchase on the Epic Game Store. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh shit! I accidentally opened it. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is the Capcom thing. What is yeah. Mega Man the Power Battle? I've never heard of that. What is the song? I made that song. This is Mario. This is Rabbids. In Rocket League? Oh no. You're gonna get hit. <laughs> it's, it's you're gonna get hit. I actually Fuck forgot about league. this. I you thought it was just getting wrong. added to Rocket Sucker League. It's already in Rocket League. So prepare to do whatever it takes to claim better not be another Mario so Golf fun, situation. I mean, Mario's from what I've seen, the gameplay looks fun, but. Switch. I literally thought out. that that was saying the game was 6 out of 10. <laughs> That's pretty Come funny. On, dude. That's a market player. That's Hi. definitely not. My name is Carl, and I'm a developer on Metal Hellsinger. You know how in some games where the music's really good, you feel compelled to move True. and shoot to the beat? But what if you had to? In Metal, the this better is like you that are one game, like that other beat, game. the more intense like everything gets. Bulls and we have yeah. performances from legendary <laughs> artists like Serge Tankin from System of a Down. So while headbanging isn't mandatory, we do recommend it. Our demo is live now oh, cool. on If I headbang, I can't fucking see the game. Us, so go check it out and slay to the beat. Dude, oh, slay to the menu, beat. Dude, that's exactly how it looks in BPM. I think it's just the new genre. Right? I'm down. It's a cool game. It looks a lot like BPM. I'm cool with more games like BPM. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I like the idea of active reloading for the beat. That's gotta be hard to make that feel right. The more European names I see in the song list, that's what I like. That's how you know it's dead metal. If they're not Swedish or Norwegian or whatever, then it's not worth it. Metal Hell Slinger. Singer. Flash sling slinging. Flash dinging. So true. Fun come. <laughs> come on, dude. Level infinite.
That one was Metal Hellsinger coming later this year from That's Funcom, a, cool looking a guy. shooter with metal music. And right now, as I mentioned, the demo has launched on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation for you to play. All right, we're almost free. at the hour and a half mark. Next up. A new game launches tomorrow. The Quarry from Supermassive Games. This spiritual successor to Until Super Dawn Massive. stars David Arquette yeah. and oh. all-star cast. It's getting great reviews, and this is one of those binge-worthy teen horror entertainment Whoa, experiences where your every choice shapes your story and determines Until who lives cool. and who dies at a camp in upstate New York. Here's this the first really one at the launch trailer. The Quarry? Family. Yep. Oh, the shit, it looks real. The world. I saw a... Uh... The Bellion tweet. If your whole family, you know, like every last I think one of them decided I like, to jump down the bottom uh, of the well, this I'll model. I liked the the other series of games too, but I think they came out too fast. How come one person be expected to pull them all back out? Yeah, should, have been, should have just been one. You pull on yeah. that rope and you just uh, right should have just been one game. Well I think the rest would have been a lot better. And what's the point of that? True. I love, <laughs> I love dirty women. There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? Kidnapping, murder, cover-ups. I think the whole Hackett family is in on it. You have no idea. What's Resident going Evil. On here. Not a goddamn clue. <laughs> Dude, she was pogging. That was crazy. Who should I call? Ninety-one-one. You mean 911? Who says 911? <laughs> so true. <laughs> Wasn't that dude from In Until Dawn? Is that one of the actor guys they're talking about? Probably using the same people. Or same white people. He looked familiar. This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening and you're all in it. This is gonna get they're not going to show the monster though. No, uh, for a second they did. They showed a lot of different monsters. The Digital Deluxe story. Edition. Why? What is that? This format? is the game I was thinking Back of. At the game awards, we were proud to yeah, this is the, a shared world the survival crafting game from Inflection this game game cool. in Canada. It's now right. it's time to give you a brand new look. I love game like this, game, including its innovative realm card I system, prefer when they're not first like person. The weather pattern, resources, and challenges in its procedural realms. Here is your exclusive new look. Because last time they didn't show the world, they just the showed realms, like. I'm afraid the portals are a mess. Not even sure. Yeah, if this is like the lore trailer, I guess. Very. Given how fragile you humans are. No. That's fine. I'd up. say that staying fed, dry, and rested should be your. I priority. just don't want to see just a forest and that's it. If the portal arch is an act just like the forest realm cards just like every resources. fucking survival game. Once you have realm cards, you can activate cards. The Beware them. Foul things like that guy in the interrupt void. <laughs> waiting to get in. Okay, I can go to another forest. Be ready with your axe pick. True. Okay, that doesn't look like a forest. Okay, we're back to the forest. Back to the forest. Swamp forest. Craft realm cards. Go to different realm. Go to spider realm. Okay. So it's kind of like No Man's Sky if they just put a bunch of creatures in the forest. <laughs> if they put a bunch of spiders. They kind of got Fortnite proportions. <laughs> a little bit. If these shadows have offended. That was cool. Think ah. Like this. That's a Pokemon. Ah. Actually, that's a Bayonetta enemy. All is mended. Okay, it really did see a lot of forest. More like epic fail. What is level infinite? Why does that keep showing up? Is that a, is that a publisher? Saints are marching oh, in on exists. August. Yeah, I think it is the reboot of Saints Row that we revealed last year at Gamescom, and today we're happy to announce My issue the launch with this of the game Boss Factory demo across is that PC it's and console, which lets you design gonna and just set be up Saints Row again, and it's not going to be anything Saints Row, different. You guys at all. are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Check it out. We love demos. Sky. 
guys. No, I didn't like that. I didn't like that she. They keep doing it. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Me. That didn't look cool at all. Oh god. Oh, he's a penis. He's fucking Sigma Chad. We are so good at this. He's the swaggiest. I can't believe they put that in the trailer, man. She's hitting it. <laughs> uh, that's a Hershey Kiss Goblin. Seriously, this is perfect. Dinner and a show, baby. That guy's naked. <laughs> Be this guy. Oh, wait, did they just show her tits? Or was that an- oh, that was that man, okay. I thought- <laughs> I, I didn't see the guy on the left, and they didn't censor the nipples, and I was like, what the fuck? Okay. That's Dracula. That's, That's bald Dracula. <laughs> worker. Oh, suddenly I'm horny, dude. Oh, there was a fucking witch in fuck that. This is like the customization trailer. But like... Like, cool, I can go into the city and blow things up. Very cool. Download now. I love Epic Game Store. Yeah, I won't be doing it, but that's cool. Glad, uh, glad they're just making Saints Row again. Yeah, let's go, 40k. Is this the one that's like, uh, Vermintide, but not? Matt Shark's follow-up to the critically acclaimed Vermintide series. Yeah, okay. Dark Tide promises intense four-player co-op action gave it away. and terrifying enemy hordes to come against. And it's no, I just remembered, but yeah. September 13th yeah. for PC, on Steam, and exclusively on console, on Xbox. Vermintide is cool. Yeah, it's like Left 4 Dead, but with goblins. The rats. Level That's infinite again, man. dude. That man is too big. What are you talking about? That man is too large for that. Level infinite can't be a publisher. It's being posted on like all these games. No, I don't think so. I don't know what the fuck it is. It must... I'm gonna look it up. Massive. Let me hide the Among Us up here. FAQ. Level. He's got melee combat. Hell yeah. Is this a publisher? It's got stuff like that, spiders fall bot. Yeah. I'm glad that this is the the space universe. Because the space universe is crazy. Like I think the Vermintide one's the same universe, it's just like the that planet specifically or whatever. I forget. I think I had it explained to me at one point, because I had friends who were like, you know, unhealthily into Warhammer stuff. Oh, that's the only people who are into Warhammer are unhealthily into it. I think this is a- I think Level Infinite's a publisher. It's just- I would only assume. It's just they've been on like every single thing. I didn't realize there's a new Don't Starve thing. What is this? What the fuck? Don't Starve New Home. They're gonna announce that next. By Shenku Games. Two days Games. after 9-11? <laughs> Come on, dude. Bloober there team is known for psychological horror okay. games like Blair team. Witch and the Medium. I forgot Today, about this. They are ready to reveal their latest creation made completely Silent Hill. Silent Hill. <laughs> Not experience. Silent Hill. It's a return to the world of we'll see. Layers, of layers of Fear. Oh, uh, Layers of Fear 3? Come on, yes. man. God damn it. No Silent Hill 3. That's why Jeff played it down. He was like, there's not gonna be Silent Hill 3. Or Silent Hill, not Silent Hill 3. Fuck. Shit. True. Fuck. Shit. 
Where's I lost my tab? I've never seen this is not by Clay, this new Don't Starve game. Is this a mobile game? Fucking point. Oh, it's a mobile game. That's why. There's a Don't Starve mobile game where you like make your base <laughs> and survive. But it's on mobile. Yeah, I had never heard of this. Th is this like it might be like the Game Awards publisher? This is a story of my fear. They're like they're text and stuff. I'm just gonna talk over the layers of fear trailer. Uh, the their text on their website looks suspiciously like the Game Awards text. There's no other way. Shouldn't You really? They also did Shouldn't Be Rising and they're doing Nightingale. Well, no, they're not publishers. What is... Because it says the publisher. What is this? About us. This company does. Your mama. No. This October, Gotham Knights arrives. Oh. Batman is dead, and it's up to the Batman, Batman is dead. <laughs> that girl, Nightwing. Batman is dead. To protect Gotham. Let's go. Give us an exclusive new look. Let's head to Montreal to hear like from executive poofy. producer Fleur Marty. That's a crazy name. Hello and warm welcome from. Oh, the, the games are being market. added to the website as they're being announced. I'm the executive producer on Gotham mm, Knights. Today, I think. we are thrilled to share more with you on one of our beloved nights. I don't know. It might be like some just some this media management the first company. in our character series, and we're really looking forward to share more with you as we continue working towards our launch on October 25th. So I hope you enjoy the show and stay tuned. Very cool, Batman. Done. I had nothing, and then this city became my home. Very cool. Its people became my family. Gotham gave me everything. It deserves to feel safe. Yes, we love Nightwing. I hate when the villains sh shoot a machine gun over someone's head. <laughs> Those scare them. Those and evil doers. There's Nightwing, but again. No matter how hard we try, with a worse hair. And now, it's up to me. Ooh, Customizable haircut. Nightwing, dude. Batman is dead. Is this just an Arkham game, but you play as Nightwing? I wasn't paying attention. No, it's like a. There's four characters. I think it's co-op too. I got this. It has that shitty fucking customization that all modern games have. Oh, it's got Deadpool. I don't think that's Deadpool. <laughs> that was Deadpool. Oh shit, my bad. That was Gotham Knights, and now we welcome. Oh, look who it is. Neil Druckmann from Bro, Naughty Dog. Oh, your game uh, linked already. Of Naughty Dog. Uh, great to have you with us, I didn't Neil. See it's it. been a, uh, an eventful day on the internet for Naughty Dog fans. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we jinxed ourselves. We were joking about last night, like, watch the ass <laughs> assets leak, and yes. lo and behold, that's what happened. Well, the good news is there's very some cool. stuff that hasn't leaked that we have lots to share with people it's about very uh, all things at Naughty Dog. But. First of all, it is a, you know, it's a big month, actually, for Last Red of Us fans. It could be Red Hood. Uh, Last of Us 1 and 2 both launched Deadpool. in June, and it's nearing its two-year mm. anniversary for Last of Us uh, Part 2, which is, is hard to hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, um, you know, nine years for Last of Us 1, two years for Last of Us Part 2. 
and we still hear from fans. They're still sending us letters and art, and these characters in this journey and this world mean so much True. to them. Um, and it's, it's just been kind of amazing. Like Last of Us Part Two, early this year, passed a pretty big milestone. It sold over 10 million units. And that kind of support, that kind of success, um, we're so grateful to our fans. It has allowed us to grow as a studio, and now we can take on multiple projects, more than we've ever had at the same time. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> You've never worked on so, two uh, projects at once. What can Last of, Us, Last of Us fans expect in the future from it? Thank you for asking, Jeff. Yes. Uh, so one of the things we've mentioned a while back is what started out as a multiplayer mode has evolved due to the team's ambition. They really wanted to do something beyond what we've ever done before at Naughty Dog. And we felt the way to do it justice is to make it a standalone title. And over the, they've been working on it for the past two years. Ambition has Last grown. Last of Us multiplayer, we're not very cool. quite ready to fully unveil it, but we're ready to lift the current a little bit and just give you like an update of where we're at. Okay, well, uh, what can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? Yeah, so uh, we have a concept art that we want to show. Yeah. Um, uh, but what, what I can tell you... The multiplayer you, was fun oh, in Last of Us 1, but it wasn't that fun. Big. Okay. Um, it's as big as any of our single-player games that we've done. No, it'll be more bigger. fun. It's got a story. Um, the way we're telling that story is very unique to this game. Um, it's got a brand Why does your multiplayer at another place, uh, only another game have a States. story? It's like a city might be somewhat familiar. Some I'm sure our fans have already figured it out. Um, uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's being Neil Cuckman. Uggerwall, um, Anthony Newman. Why are they in the and, white zone right uh, now? Joe Padnetti, all veterans of Uncharted and Last of Us. And you're going to see a lot more of this game come next year. Next year, so we wait till next year to hear more about that next one. Year. Okay, well, very exciting that uh, this has evolved, and I mean that concept art looks incredible. I can't wait to see Naughty Dog storytelling fused with multiplayer live game. Uh, it's it's something special. I, we can't wait to show it either. Okay, well, um, that's not all. We also have something that I've been reading about on the internet every day. It feels like up <laughs> in Calgary, they're filming the Last of Us show for HBO, right? Yeah, oh. so uh, for the past Oh no, year, sorry. I'm thinking uh, of the Uncharted movie. With Craig Mason of Chernobyl fame. And now there's also the one last of these of things will become <laughs> real at some point. Uh, TV show. Um, it's just a matter of what's and, first. Uh, I mean, I think they're shooting the Uncharted movie. The stuff I'm getting back when we're looking at back at Naughty Dog, we can't. The Uncharted movie came out because not only is it so good, did it? And the quality's so high. Tom Holland. It's yeah. so authentic. Did that come out? Made in the game. Yeah, they came out. Um, what and, the fuck? Uh, I, I <laughs> exactly. I couldn't be proud of, like, again, Craig. That doesn't that sound real. That's up there. Uh, and they're actually, their last day of filming is tomorrow. So the entire series, last day of filming is last tomorrow. Last day of filming is tomorrow. Craig is up there right now, wow. kind of wrapping it all up. Uh, so it's it's pretty close. This came out in February? I heard nobody you talk about this. You actually got to direct one of the episodes? Yes, uh, yep. I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration that's insane. and trust that exists between... Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, yeah, I think... Um, I think we have I an think image my from family the saw this. Directed, Ooh, okay. um, so we could first look. There's an image from. Ah, so wow. you can see uh, <laughs> this is a certain is that Pedro Pascal? museum that it players is, yeah. might know from the game. Um, and I really have to Again? talk about. Okay, Pedro yeah, I saw Pascal, a I saw a picture of this, and, and I think I thought this was Uncharted, but, and I just misread it. They've thrown themselves at these roles. <laughs> I think, I think that's what happened. Watching the and I was like, yeah, they're shooting the Uncharted movie. Okay, yeah. Camera. I couldn't help but think about Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. It felt so similar to the chemistry those two actors had when we made the game. Um, and it really feels like this is going to be something special. And uh, I will say this will be the most authentic video yeah. game adaptation yet. Well, I mean, that first image that they put out, it just, I mean, it feels like the video game. Everything that I've seen, both public and other stuff, makes it feel sort of super legitimate. It's I don't remember Joel see, being uh, Spanish, so... Kind of weird, Neil. You'll hear about it very soon. That's, that's okay. all I'll say right now. <laughs> all right. Well, Last of Us HBO, very, very exciting. Uh, and I hear you actually have a couple actors from the show who are uh, going to join we us here. Happen to have a couple <gasps> Pedro? Here that are part of the show. We should bring them up. Okay. Come on up. God, what the... Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, hello. Surprise. That's Surprise not... back again. Hello, I know. Ashley. Oh, it's Troy Baker. Uh, That's not fucking confused, Pedro, though, I, I dude. Pedro Bella, but Troy Ashley out here uh, from the game, right? So uh, when Craig and I started working on the show, we love one of Troy our Baker. Days, we said, Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. Um, and we're such fans of, like, the talent and the help. Like, so they're in the show as well. Um, we felt like it was so important that they become part of the show. And it wasn't, it's, it has to be more than just like, kind of like a wink to the camera and like a cameo. So they're side characters. So we're keeping on the wraps for now. Uh -huh. uh, 
But man, I was I'm bummed that I couldn't be there with you guys when you filmed your stuff. I mean, and couldn't so much stuff Troy I easily so be like good. the uncle the guy? There's so much like talk about what's being filmed, and I think that's you guys have kept it. Uh, Joel's yeah. brother. You, so you were up there. I don't know what Maybe the fuck role she would play. Like, but... Keeping secrets with this franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've except had except for keep... today. Yeah. Except, yeah. For today. Yeah. <laughs> except for the day. Uh, it was it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let not let people know that because we're so proud of it and the work that Troy we did, leaked it. It was him. The crew. I have to say. When this I walked out on the set, thing. Um, <laughs> oh, did they not talk about the leak thing yet? That I met on that crew, no, they uh, oh, Jesus uh, Christ, that means they're going to keep going after this? They all knew oh what it was God. that they were working on and committed to working on this project because of their fan and their love for the for the game. It better uh, be The Last of Us, like, <laughs> Pornhub <laughs> exclusive. Friends. Yeah, it is. I, I, the attention Let's to go. detail, the crew was amazing. That's the only thing it has been. and Pedro are... Man. The, the only I, avenue they haven't explored they're yet. They're so perfect, and it it we we've been trying to sort of describe that feeling of sort of seeing them in. And person. that's why me and Troy are gonna fucking ca on like, front of camera. It's Whoa. like the characters coming to life, but it it it's so much more than that. I feel like I can't fully explain it, but I. She am really does just sound like so Ellie. excited to be a part of it, and just I can't wait to see it. I think it is gonna be so good. It's it's. So I love the story. I love no, just being I'm, a part of. I'm the so world. excited. Yeah, true. He's gonna make an, 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 an NFT out of the sex scene. So That's so true. How it's gonna sort of bob and weave in, and you know, are these characters uh. we know from the game that they're playing new characters? Can you tell us anything? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can tell you. So sneaky. All right. Well, we're so excited. To Maybe it's already on Twitter by now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. Well. Let's talk Who's about the leaker? Has he been executed today. yet? <laughs> Lots of talk about uh, the idea. Or really Has he been fired? It looks like you guys are remaking the original game, and this is like a ground-up remake. Is that right? That's right. Uh, we wanted to give people the definitive it's a remake of the first game. The first I thought game. that was already it announced. Wasn't encumbered by any technology. Nope. Uh, wanted to find or, I guess even closer to our original. It vision, just got ported uh, to PS4. PS5. Yeah. And PC, and instead of talking about it, let's look at it. All right, let's take a look at the Last of Us. Part one. Part one, baby. Yep, that's the last of us. I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. Very cool. This is the last of us. You know, I've never been part one of The Last of Us. Yeah, right. Is the outside? So is that everything you hoped for? It can't be any worse out there. That's the character Astro Johnson's gonna play, Joel's sister, or whatever. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I, I don't even remember what games are on the PlayStation 5 at this point. Should I count? I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I know Demon's Souls is on the PS5. That's it, though, right? Truly one of my favorite games of the past decade. Guys, wh what's your reaction to that? Yeah, we uh, hadn't seen yeah, that yet. Now you're watching it in real time. Yeah. Uh, it's Because you did these I mean, these performances you did a decade ago. Yeah. You didn't go back in. I mean, you used the original performances. Yeah, actually, we, we came up with a process where you could take the original yeah, we didn't get paid uh, at all. animation that awesome. we did for the faces <laughs> and kind of like retarget it on the new rigs that have a lot more fidelity. And then the animators went back and We're studied. Side by side I, you know, if he didn't, sh if he didn't show me, I wouldn't have known the difference. Models, rebuilt everything. Everything, uh, rebuilt they do look a little different. Uh, <laughs> they do look better, but like... The whole thing from the ground up. Um, I think they just... The, the great thing about these They just look more like that, The Last of Us 2, um, like Fidelity. So, uh, like, all the animators went and studied those videos. Yeah, I mean, sure. I don't know. I don't care. We could have achieved before. Um, and that's just like I'm not going to play it again. Like, I mean, I didn't AI, even play it. I watched a playthrough like, of it. Was redone. Um, what the hell, dude? Just, but uh, I'm not going to play it. Actually, that's not true. I played the multiplayer. So technically, I played it. Knowing because of the show, 
because this, the all, all new players what the hell, dude? and PC, yeah. we wanted them to have the definitive version of The Last of Us. Yeah, you know, it's just so hard to get a hold of The Last of Us 1. It was only free on PS Plus like eight times. I, uh, I actually played it again <laughs> you know. just to refresh my memory before yeah. working on the show. Uh -huh. Um... I was a just a glutton for punishment, and I, I went straight from trending. playing uh, yeah, part one it. straight into <laughs> part two. Um, and so the last time that I played literally would have been two years ago since we're celebrating the anniversary of part two coming out. So, I mean, it looks like I'm definitely going to be up for another yeah, playthrough I can't, with I this. Mean, yeah. I can't wait to go back. It was oh, I can't a, wait. I, you guys did such an amazing job on that original game. and It's it's really when you play it. When you yeah, see I actually thought the game really sucked, so I didn't play it at all. I, imagine uh, the game, the, I played the two minutes of it, and I was like, wow, yeah. that looked cool to hear my voice. I hate this game. Well, it's the whole, like, all the new animation system, the new AI system, everything we've learned on, like, Uncharted 4, Last of Us 2, we apply to this, again, to give that. How long has it been? Since Just our to four out, came out. Uh, this project is headed up by uh, Matthew Gallant. It's been Gallant a long time. Sean is Sky. Okay. Uh, and you'll hear a lot more about it and see a lot more about it. When's Uncharted 5? To the release September 2nd on PS5. All right. And well, shortly after now. on PC. We will look forward to it. Now, you, Neil, you've talked a lot about leaked? games directed by other people. What, what are you directing? Are you still making games? Still making games. Okay. Uh, Uncharted 5. I up my, my day job. Uh, it's a little early to talk about it. Maybe if someone in place and wants to leak it, then we can yeah. talk about it now. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, True. Uh, we'll save but it. you do have a new project. Do have a new project. Yeah. Uh, but Damn, we'll did he just roast PlayStation? Games. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll see. We'll try and save it. <laughs> All right. Troy, Ashley, Neil, thank you so much for dropping by Summer Game Fest. And I am so excited that The Last of Us is returning, as you said, in September. So thanks, guys. Appreciate awesome. it. Thanks, Jeff. I'm also excited, dude. I'm so All right. Well, excited. that is really talking about the thanks leak. Thanks to Naughty Dog and okay. PlayStation for that very special uh, look so at that The was, Last oh, of Us. Oh, wow. I didn't realize we went all the way to 4 o'clock with that one. Um, Holy shit. About that. All right. Summer Game Fest continues over the next few days. Coming up right now on this very stream is Day of the Dead. With yeah, true. I agree, baby. It's sad monkey face. Exclusive new look at the planet of Lana and then the Devolver Digital Showcase. Tomorrow, we've got Netflix Geek Week, which I'll I would love to watch the Devolver the thing, but it's like showcase fucking streaming probably like two hours Epic from Game now. Store showcase. And then finally Sunday, it's the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. Maybe we're going to talk about Arcane Season 2. At SummerGameFest.com. Where? As for me, I'll see you again <laughs> in August when we are back no, live in Cologne, so. Germany for Gamescom opening night live Gamescom on is in August, okay. And then the Game Awards will return in December live at the Microsoft my Theater in Los Angeles. Very cool. And finally, I'm excited to share that Summer Game Fest will return in June 2023. It's a little Gamescom early to confirm that. Person event oh, in person. Let's community go. Community I'm going to Summer Game Thanks Fest. I'll see you guys there live. Fest. See you, Jeff. Remember, there are more events and announcements to come. We'll I don't you think soon. you will. I'll see you, Jeff. I don't know, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing next year, this time. I think what I'm doing right now is taking a shit. Yeah, in-person drops confirmed for next year. The only drop I'm taking is in the toilet. Okay, dude. Tim Schafer is literally on screen on the stream right now. Ooh, you. Whatever, dude. Happy birthday, like, day, oh, day of the devs. Uh, what? You don't know what day of the devs is? Day of the Devs is the greatest and definitely the oldest independent games festival that exists. It was started over 10 years ago by Double Fine Productions and I Am 8-Bit to celebrate uh, the best independent games out there and bring them to you, the fans. We want to bring developers and players together to get together, play games, and have a great time. It used to be a physical event only in San Francisco, but now it has gone digital, so the whole world can... Okay. I just, I thought that something might happen, but he's just, he sung happy birthday and now he's explaining what the event is. Um, is that me in 20 years? Maybe. I'd be lucky to look like Tim Schafer in 20 years, I think. Uh, yeah. That was, uh, that was about as eventful as I expected it to be. Um, nothing I didn't really show my real face. Oh, okay, sorry, hang on. This is my real face. There we are. Okay. Sorry. Just uh, technical difficulties. Um... I lost my train of thought.
uh yeah they so yeah i don't even know if there was anything specifically that i was like that looks cool i don't know midnight suns looks okay they didn't really show any gameplay but i do like uh the designs of the the characters i do like that they they gave fire access to the the creative control to just be like yeah you can just redesign spider-man to have a cool looking suit um yeah i don't know it looks pretty cool i'll probably wind up playing nightingale um just because it's a survival game and i play every fucking survival game that never comes out um i don't even remember what else there was there, it's not like there was like anything crazy I'm not gonna play the last of us Probably gonna play the MiHoYo game, <laughs> so I can pull sexy anime women um, out of a loot box. Jeff got in the Donkey Kong barrel. I thought he would be okay, but then it happened. Yeah, that's so true. I'm gonna play the Dread X Collection eventually. Um, I have some stuff in the pipeline. We'll say. Hang on, let me. The stream is distracting me. I had to close it. Um. There's some stuff that I'm working on currently, and there's some stuff I have planned uh, for stream. Uh, which, next stream will probably be that. Do you tell? Alright, so here, here's a little sneak peek. This is a, this is a Summer Games Fest. Um, this is a Summer Games Fest exclusive. Ready? Hang on, sorry. Hang on, sorry. Shit. Where is it? There we go, let's do this one. A Summer Games Fest exclusive Robogory stream sneak peek. Ready? Ready for this? Hang on. I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm not leaking anything else. Okay, let me... Let me make it actually like a... Hang on. Hang on. I might have played the music a little premature. How do I like... <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, I'm setting it up. Shit, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not... <laughs> Wait, don't hold... It. Pretend like you didn't see it. Pretend like you didn't see it. No, 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 pretend like, don't say anything. Don't pretend like you didn't see it. Hang on. I have to fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretend like, pretend like you don't see it, please. <laughs> it's giving me some trouble. Hang on. There we, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay, wait, hang on, we're ready now. When the beat drops? Fuck, oh, shit. I gotta pick a different song. I don't know this song. Hang on. Hey, hang on. Wait for it. I, I, I missed it. I missed it. I don't know any of these songs. Hang on, wait for it.
Wait for it? Okay, hang on. Let's, let's turn it up. The next game. The next game. On Robogory. Twitch.tv. Mark, mark your calendar. I don't have a schedule. Mark your, mark your calendars. Be sure to tune in. Very, very exciting stuff. Could be anything. Could could be anything. That Twitch, Twitch.tv slash Robogory Summer Games Fest. Jeff Keeley official co-stream. YouTube.com. Twitter.com exclusive. Could be Vic could be Lord of the Rings. Could be Elder Scrolls Online. Could be Oblivion. Could be Viking Hat Simulator. Could be anything. Could be. Could be anything. Could be. Could be literally anything. But yeah, there, there's your sneak peek, so. I can't fix the, I've ruined the, my Steam window like permanently now. There we go. It's still fucked up. All right. Could be Morrowind, could be, could be these are all great guesses. Who can say though, right? Who can say? what it actually is could be anything um probably not peggle though probably probably not peggle um yeah we're gonna i mean i'm not gonna just play that game that whatever game it is i'm not gonna just play that game there is there is a twist but uh this motherfucker's back let me mute him i just don't want to hear this motherfucker oh god i just don't want to hear that um yeah could be could be anything but yeah so that's that's some of the stuff i have uh in the pipeline Sorry, hang on. Let me stop the epic music. It's not really that exciting anymore. Um. Uh, am I speedrunning Skyrim? Mm -hmm, no, but could be anything. No, I'm not doing that, though. Or am I? Could could be anything. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Cause then you might not watch it, and then I'd be like, oh well, shit. <laughs> yeah, I can't do Skyrim booby mods on Twitch. As much as I would love to install every sex mod in Skyrim, and go around <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> Just making the worst content possible. I, I I can't do it on Twitch. I don't even think YouTube would let me do it. I'm not putting a graphic on my TV. Then you can't see the fucking back of my head. You can't see my bald spot, dude. I don't even know if you can see my bald spot on the fucking TV. Uh, I don't think so. Do I even have a bald spot here? I have a bald spot here. I don't know how it is on the top of my head. I don't have anything. I was gonna like hang something up on my TV, but like I really. That has my address. Oh my god, whoa, there's a, there's a Logitech keyboard on the, 
on the TV. Oh my god, isn't that cool? I don't... It's not. It doesn't work, so... Having my stream up on the TV would be, um... <laughs> okay. I just gotta... I gotta... I got a text from my sister. <laughs> Thank god it was this. It could have been something way worse. How do I, like, show this without leaking it? <laughs> Hang on. This is the text I just got. <laughs> could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. But the answer is yes. It could have been the 11 year old's one. That's what I was worried about. It definitely could have been way worse. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have for today, though. Um, yeah, there's there's gonna be a video coming out at some point on Gati reviews. Um, next stream, we're gonna do Skyrim. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I think that's all I got. No Silk Song. Actually, now that I think about it. That kind of sucks. Would have would have liked to see Hollow Knight Silk Song. I don't think that game exists. Put that text on the TV. I don't know. It, again, the problem with putting something on my TV is that one, I have to like, one, I have to figure out how the fuck the Roku TV works and like, if I can like upload an image. Because I might be able to just upload an image and put it as an app on my Roku or something. Um, or maybe I can even, like, stream from my phone. I don't know. I'm not doing anything with cords, though. I'm not... There there are no cords coming from my TV going to my computer. Because it is just a pain in the ass to do that. It would just be such a pain in the ass. Because um, there, there's a corner here that is just, like, impassable. Like, I just can't get back. It would just be such a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's not happening. What is happening, though, is Skyrim. Um, very cool. Alright. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next stream. Uh, it's been a fun one. Skyrim job? Oh, I get it. Good one. Uh, stay safe. Stay, stay gaming. Stay alert for my next stream. It's going to be a good one. Stay thirsty, my friend. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I can legally say that one, though. <laughs>